Ladies and gentlemen, this is Yale here back with Starlink Battle for Atlas single player campaign. Now we're gonna go ahead and continue where we left off. Uh, we were uh, working along with Ellie Arborwood. But uh, before I begin this particular video, I wanted to point out that on the last video description, I realized that before. Uh, beginning to make a Starlink video, I need to uh, already have a pre-plan of attack, as in know what I'm going to do before I begin said video. Uh, to this end, before I began, uh, uh, before I begin this video, I decided to re-watch the previous two or three videos to see what I might have missed and to understand what's going on better and as a result I end up writing a couple of uh, notes or a to-do list basically. Uh, hopefully this video will come out a little more orderly uh, instead of me just trying to uh, understand or, or try to figure out what am I supposed to be going all the time. So having said that, the first thing that I would like to do here is to check out uh, where I stand mod-wise because uh, in our last video we uh, got in our possession a mod of, of uh, Warden Origin. So we're going to check that out. Uh, we have the lower right button and we're going to check Hellstorm, Frost Barrage, Shredder. Now I understand that I have a Shredder MK2. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, Rapid Fire Fire Missile. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead. I can see on the lower left it says two new weapon mods, so that's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, let me see, mod weapon with the Y button. Oh, what do we have? Okay, we have weapon ammo. Okay, we need to figure it out. Uh, uh, enable comparison with the R button. Pressing down. Okay, and disable comparison, enable comparison. Okay, change with the A button. So we now have two weapon ammo related mods. Uh, the first one is rate of fire, 20 plus 20 rate of fire plus 25 damage to target within 50 meters. That's rapid ammo. Support ammo. Uh, 10 plus 10 damage heals for 1% of damage done. Okay, so we're gonna go a status effect kinetic. See the plus 20 there, rate of fire. That's that sounds attractive. Now uh, we're gonna go back with the B bottom. Uh, uh, we can see that the one on the right has a check mark on it. What I want to do is I want to take that out of this weapon which is the normal shredder and put that on the shredder MK2. So let's go ahead and do see A bottom unequip with the A okay how do I I understand I can uh, unequip okay the unequip button is grayed out which means that I cannot take it out of the weapon and put it on another weapon so what that tells me is that I already used this mob on this weapon and once that happens it becomes it becomes locked into this particular weapon because I can go ahead and equip this one but then again take it Wait a minute, wait a minute, I was wrong, I was wrong. Uh, we can only have one. Okay, I cannot, let me see, change. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, go back. On the lower, lower 
uh, uh, a bottom of the screen says unequipped mod with the Y. Okay, now I gotcha. Now it's completely empty. I got you now. And then we have this. I can see the the uh, mod of Warden Origin here. Uh, let me see. No, go back with the Y button. Okay, then go here. Press the A button. Okay, unequivocal because it's the wrong weapon. That's that's for the heat heat weapon. Equip. This is the warden. Uncommon. Why is this uh, plus twelve damage plus twelve percent critical damage increased? <coughs> this, this. Okay, I'm surprised this is one for the weapons because I thought this. This was something that was related to the Equinox, but it looks like Warden mods are available to weapons and all stuff. Also, the one that we have is is um, the Electrum Amplifier. This one is one of my favorites. Every time you kill somebody using a weapon with this mod, the victim drops Electrum behind, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I cannot equip uh, equipped so I got to go back no go back with the B button and press the Y button okay this ones are locked so I'm so this one is weapon amplifier related and weapon ammo related Supercharged attack power and fire rate. Imbue weapons with special effects. Find ammo in ruins. Ammo in ruins or by helping outpost. And then amplify the strength of your weapon with ammo cores. And ammo cores, excuse me. I'm not, I'm not sure what ammo cores means exactly. Uh, some, some things I understand what they mean, others not. Find amplifiers in ruins by defeating elemental foes. And then this one, upgrade the Equinox Modern Bay to unlock more amplifier slots for our weapons. Okay, weapon amplifier. Okay, the weapon ammo has the shape of a diamond, while weapon amplifiers have the shape of a circle. So all three of these are uh, uh, weapon amplifiers, which means that I can equip one weapon ammo and three amplifiers for each weapon. So let's go ahead and go back with B button. Uh, let's go ahead and switch the standard shredder with the shredder MK2 and let's go ahead and flip with the X button. Okay, we got it. No, that did not work. Flip with the X button. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, flip means... Uh, wait a minute, that looks like... Oh, to fire from the rear. Okay, I thought flip meant exchange one weapon for the other, but flip... And what it actually means is that it rotates the weapon so I can fire uh, uh, in reverse. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what that good is for. Okay, I see what's going on. Okay, because then you can use this while you have uh, the reverse camera engaged. I see, I see now, I see it. So let's go ahead and flip it forward again, and let's go ahead and link it with the A button, which is which is what I want. Flip the old shredder with the new one. Okay, now we have the shredder. Okay, so the shredder has, let me see, uh, let's go ahead and mod, okay, let's go ahead and lower ZL button, okay, mod weapon with the white button, now I can see this one has four, okay, amplifiers, the other one has three, Okay, so let's go ahead and equip the A button. Uh, we have rapid, rapid ammo. I think the rapid ammo sounds a little bit more uh, attractive. Uh, however, I do expect uh, more, more of a kickback if I do uh, uh, 
I do equip this weapon with this one. So let's go ahead and go ahead and equip with the A button. And now we have two of them. I, I already had one equipped. It looks like I have two. Okay, this one is the XP XP and with this weapon, okay, and then the electrum amplifier. Alrighty then. I already had that here. Okay, that's good. So let's go ahead and go back, back with the B button. Which means that we already Okay. Okay, it looks like okay, we need to go back with the B button. And we have the Shredder MK2 on the left. Let's go on the right. And let's go and re-equip that with the uh Let's see if we can. Uh, we, we have a a, a a a mod that is fire related, which I tried to put on the shredder. I couldn't because. Uh, so let's go ahead and and, and see so where is the unequipped weapon? No unequipped weapon here. Uh, let's go ahead and link with the A button. Now let's check out the mods we have here. Mod with the Y button. And Okay, that's that's for the ship. So let's go back. We we are still modding the weapon. So back with the B button, uh, C R button press and highlight the weapon and mod weapon with the Y button. Okay, I can see that I already have the heat amplifier. So let's go ahead and change unequip mod with the Y button and let's go ahead and try the new warden. Warden uh, mod. I can see that that uh, some weapons have more uh, mod slots than others. What I'm what I'm uh, uh, noticing here is that the, if if the weapon has uh, the MK2, then I guess it's five mods in total. While those who are not MK2 are the originals, only have four mods. So let's go ahead and equip that. Let's, let's go ahead and give this. Plus 12 damage per 4 critical damage increase. Let's go ahead and give this mod a shot. Uh, let's go ahead with the mod accepted. And let's go ahead and equip a plus 10 damage. Heal plus 1 damage. Okay, that's good. Uh, a. Okay, so let's go back with the B button. Okay, back with the B button and uh, back with the B button. Okay, we have okay mod chip and weapons. We have the the uh, exclamation mark indicator, which means that we have something new here. Pressing the Y button. Okay, let's check out what we see. We have this one right here: elemental core plus twenty energy, one hundred energy in elemental combo. I don't know what that means. Um, and then we have okay, ship core. It could be a power core plus twenty energy plus twenty energy to elemental. Oh, wait a minute. The elemental combo is when you combine the effects of two weapons. Okay, one hundred energy in on elemental combo target assist. I it it, it doesn't click. I, I can't understand what that means. I know that elemental combo is when you use when you use a freeze weapon and then you hit the same target with the shredder. There's that shatter effect. Is that what he's talking about here? I'm not sure. Okay, we do have mods here. Equip A. What do we got? We got the heat armor. Plus one defend resistance to heat damage. Negative 20% to cold damage. Oh, there is a there is a trade-off. I gain in heat damage but lose in cold damage. Hmm. Uh, what is this? Kinetic resist plus 10 defense. Let's go ahead with this one. Scrapper armor number one. Pressing the A button. And then number three, we already have something here, which is the booster defense. The booster defense equip mod with the Y button. Let's go ahead and try that one that's flashing now. 
see what that means right here. It means pilot ability recharge speed. Okay, that I do understand what it means right off the bat, which means that I can, I can, I can call in one of my Star Fox buddies quicker. So this one, this one immediately makes sense to me what it means. So let's go ahead and do the equip button. Okay, and kinetic resist plus two defense. I can see that. So I need to understand what elemental core and all that means on the other hand. Uh, let's go ahead with the back button, press the B button. Uh, okay, I can see that there is a yellow bar uh, uh, filling out. I think that it's uh, uh, level 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 for my fighter. Let's go ahead and we'll see where we stand when it comes to pilot skills. I don't see the uh, exclamation mark flash in here, so I don't think there's anything new here. Uh, pressing the B button, cost. Uh, let me see, cost. Uh, oh, I see, there, 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 there is the chip symbol. You see that the, the uh, chip symbol is right next to where it says cost number one. So if we go back here, back, when that yellow bar fills out and it highlights the first chip, that means I'm going to have one point to spend on a pilot scale upgrade. That That is making sense to me. So let's go ahead back with the X button. Cost two. I see. Uh, this one costs two, and of course, this one will cost three at the market. So we already have. Yeah, we already have this one placed in, and I don't see any indication that uh, it can be removed. Unlike a mod somewhere else. So I, I guess once you make up your mind of uh, how you want to upgrade your pilot, that's it. You can't change your mind like the mod. You cannot play fool around with this one unlike the mods. Okay, so go back to the B button. Okay, we can see the exclamation mark on the collection. Let's go ahead and do that one first. Okay, we can see the star mod here. Okay, we have the technical data here. Let's see if we can find out more information about what the elemental cores are. Warden mods. Warden mods have those three distinct shapes. The incredibly advanced technology left behind by the ancient wardens have bestified the residents of Atlas for centuries. Once integrated within the initiative tag, the true potential potency is unlocked. Synergy with natural elements in ways that seem like magic. Okay, Let's find, what does that mean? Okay, so we have chip core. Let's see what chip core is. Pressing the A button. Chip cores are mods that have the chip's reactor. Mm, okay and engines, customizing its flight's weapon energy and pilot ability characteristics to suit its pilot needs. Cores can be obtained from extractors and ruins. Tactical Summary Ship core types, tank, warrior, elemental, which is the one we were uh, uh, handling, elemental, Commander, Fighter, Nova, Alliance, Champion, Warden. There are quite a few of them. But the relationship between uh, a chip core and everything else is... I don't understand it yet. I can imagine what the benefits are, especially during combat. So more practice is needed in that regard. Chip armor, chip booster, weapon ammo. Weapon booster, Warden mods. Pressing the A button. Okay, this is I already read. Tactical summary. There are five kinds of warden mods. The warden core, warden armor, warden booster, warden ammo, and warden amplifier. So let's go back. And we still have the collection blinking. Let's go ahead and down. See, no, nothing. No more here. So let's go back with the B button. Uh, we got alien factions pressing the A button and we have this one highlighted which is the warden spire 
the area that we explored in our previous videos. Choosing the A button. Ward Spire. These massive towers are scattered over the worlds of Atlas. They're a suck. Their exact function is a mystery, but some suspect they are tools once used by the Wardens in the terraforming of these planets. They also appear to relay signals between Legion units like Asian radio towers, which is what happened when I hacked into the Drake Fighter on one of my previous videos. Apparently it sent an SOS and it used that tower to complete the, the sending that SOS to the Legion. Tactical summary spires contain valves locked by mechanism that responds to elemental input, thus, thus referring to my weapons, like fire, uh, ice, all that. Corrupted Nova often crystallizes nearby. Okay. Legion troops are drawn to the power of spires. Stay vigilant. Okay, go back with the B button. Warden artifacts. This is the artifact that the Sh Shaid gave us at the beginning of the the, the game. It's in the A button. That doesn't look like it though. Warden artifacts. Judge strange connection to Atlas and and the wardens. Excuse me. Wardens is what brought the initiative to Atlas. Okay, that I understand. Sergeant Grant believes that finding Warden artifacts will unlock the key to judge mysterious origins and provide the initiative with some upgraded tech. In the meantime, tactical summary. Sometimes hidden within Warden spires. Okay. Grant advanced capability to existing initiative tech. Oh, grants advanced capability to existing initiative tech. Okay. Cover it with strange symbols of the Asian Wardich language. Okay. Okay, go back. Okay, we got a database here. Okay. Oh, Drax himself. Ah, pressing the A button. Drax. We found and activated a device on Haven called a Spire, which let us intercept a signal from someone called Drax. Shahid heard of him. He's a cult leader, a maniac, who thinks he's destined to be a warden, I see. He somehow got control of their ancient tech, and he is the one who's been using the legions as his puppets. Gotcha. Okay, now we do have the equinox blinking. I wonder what that could be. Go back. Okay, pressing the upper button. Holy Christ. Okay. Let me see, Martin Bay, uh, let me see, A, okay, ship tune, okay, this one is available because we have the Nova and we have the Electrum necessary, okay, I heard about this upgrading and the one that I'm interested in is in upgrading the Equinox Cargo Bay. All ships in your collection get an extra booster armor slot. Oh damn, that looks interesting too. Okay. Modern Bay. Okay. Mod Future. Core Systems. Modern Bay. All ships can get an extra booster. Mod Foundry. Combine three common and uncommon mods of the same type to make one that's more powerful. I don't think. Okay, Amp 
Amp up your full force. Wait, amp up your full force to make it easier to plunk objects. Are, are who you mean the tractor being of my fighter? That's what it means. Super storage page. I can see. increase starship carrying capacity from. Oh, I see. We're not there yet. We're not. This is what I wanted, but we're not there yet. It looks like I have to proceed in order, perhaps. Okay, nothing here. Okay, we see a pilot there. I'm not not sure what this means. I believe that's one of the incoming pilot that pilot next to uh, um, Carl. But there is a number two. Uh, under Carl, okay, upgrade available now. Pressing the A button. What do we got? Expedition survey revealed the location of all ruins from Atlas Erectrum Rush era. Oh, damn. Okay. Defensive ops. Okay, I can see another guy next to our Eli. Received 25 more for achievements from all prospector refined. I think we're well enough in that area. Received 25 more prospector election from prospector refinery. Damn, that's uh okay. I, I, I think I already have enough electron with 91 per 91,300. That doesn't look like a, a priority right now. We got quite a few pilots here. Okay, A. I can see additions to pilots inbound. A. Select a defeated outlaw base on the star map to fast travel to it. Gateway Drive. Okay, we're gonna have to make a decision here. Should we go for one of these? Get an extra booster as well. Okay, that seems to agree. Cargo and freight. Research. You know that expedition wing stuff. Reveal the location of our wings from my laboratory. Okay. Hmm. Okay. okay, we're gonna we're gonna go for this one. Pressing the A button. Execute with the A button. Hopefully in, it's like Razor said, friends are good, information is better. So that's why I decided to go for this one. Continue with the A button. Right on. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So it, it is indeed. You got to proceed in order. And that one does require uh, a three Nova cores. The expedition developers developed energy shields for all allied units. Oh, so you're not just for information. Your 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 equipment too. I'm beginning to like this guy. Okay, but but for now, information is what I'm looking for. Let's go back to the B button. Okay, back. Okay, and that uh, that is it for this video. I completed. Uh, I'm up to speed with mods. And database information and I'm ready to uh, continue with the next video with the uh, to-do list that I uh, formulated okay so let's go ahead and return to the low out section and end the video right here all right guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next time people peace out